Got a cookie? Definitely need to eat way more. Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do talk about tracking calories in this video and tracking macros. So if that is triggering at all to you, I just ask that you please click off of this video. Good morning. It's 5.55. I wanted to make this video because I don't know, I felt like maybe some people could get some inspiration possibly, some motivation to get back on track. I've actually been working on this for the last couple of days, but I didn't film any of it because I feel like if I filmed it, it was more for like you guys and it wasn't for me. It's fine if it's for you guys, but in this situation, I needed to make sure that I was fully doing this for myself and not just for like a YouTube video. The last couple days, I've been writing down all my workouts um, and tracking my calories, or not my calories, I'm actually more tracking my macros. Um, and because I realize I'm not eating nearly enough protein and fats and carbs that I need to be. So I'm going to try to be better about that today. But I'm actually just about to take some pre-workout and write down my workout. Um, I've been also trying to be better at figuring out what my body needs. Um, for example, like yesterday I did an upper body and did like chest and triceps and my, my chest is sore. So I'm trying to be better about like the whole like listening to your body. So today I really don't want to do a whole lot of legs, but because my arms are sore, I'm going to do some. Oh, I got a good workout and I kind of want to do some back. So my thought process behind that because my arm or my, because my chest and my like triceps are really sore right now. My thought process is I will do some back and like intertwine it with some like cardio, like jump squats, um, maybe some walking lunges. Yeah, I just really want to do back. Right now, I'm not really going for a physique goal. It's literally just to get back into being consistent right now. So I'm really trying to focus on whatever my body needs. That's what I'll do. So I'm gonna drink my pre-workout. I've actually, I'm using the Enhanced Performance Nutrition um, Blue Raspberry pre-workout. I actually, I love this pre-workout. I do have a discount code with them. It's um, HKC10. I'll put the link in the description if you want to try it out. It's actually really, really good. I also totally forgot to say, like this video, if you enjoy this kind of content, it really helps me to know what you guys enjoy to watch. Su subscribe to my channel. I make a new video every Monday and Thursday, and let's continue on and do this workout. workout I did a lot more back than I wanted to um, which is fine but I'm gonna go for just a short short walk like literally down to the end of the street and back just to cool down I feel good about that workout mm -hmm. Help me make some eggs. I apologize if our dishwasher is super loud right now. I was under 37 grams for protein yesterday. 
So we're gonna have some eggs for breakfast. The crack. Ooh. Yeah. And a three. Can you say hi? Oh, look. What's this? Yeah. Can I have your pacifier, please? Thank you. Pour a little bit of that in there. For my breakfast, I'm having an egg, bacon, egg, bacon, and toast. It's 17.4 grams of eggs. Oh no, not of eggs, just of protein is what I meant to say. 17.4 grams of protein, 13 grams of fat, and 26.5 grams of carbs. I'm hoping this will help me hit my protein goal. Anyway, that's my breakfast. 307 calories. It's 10.55. Now Paisley and I just got back. We literally were outside for like almost three, no, almost two hours. But I had half of this Nutri-Grain bar. Um, Paisley had the other half of it. Ow. To be honest, I only ate it because she ate half, but I was hungry, so. Yeah, do you want another snack? Do you want some goldfish? Goldfish, all right, let's get you some. Also, quick thing, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put all of my macros on the screen so you guys can see how much I've actually eaten for the day and then I'll also put like what my goal was for the day. So we're gonna give about, mm, about 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes and then we will make some lunch. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one but baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't want to waste no time without you ever burning up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. It is now lunchtime. I mean, it's only like 11.33, but Paisley was very hungry. So I made us some chicken quesadillas. Um, again, I will put my macros on the screen because I kind of have to like add it all up and stuff. Um, so I'll put them on the screen so you guys can see the calories that this is, how many macros, how many proteins, fats, and carbs. Um, my arm is shaking. I'm going to eat this and then I will see you guys for dinner and or any snacks that I have. <laughs> okay. It's about an hour and a half later. I'm actually about to do some work, but I'm going to snack on these little Friday potato skin like chips basically. And I just want to tell you guys a little tip if you're tracking your macros or tracking calories, whatever you're doing and you have like a bag of chips like this and you don't want to like legit measure like a bowl out or something, um, what you can do is you go on your scale, you measure or like you weigh the chip bag, like the whole thing put it right on the scale, weigh the whole thing. Like for example, that bag is 122 grams. And then when I'm done like stacking on it, I'll go back upstairs, put it back on the scale and see how much it weighs. And then whatever the difference is, so say it's 100 and say it's 100 grams when I'm done eating it, then that would be the difference would be the 22 grams. And that's how much I ate, I ate 22 grams. You get it? I hope. I hope you get it. Some people might already know that, but I figured just in case, like you don't, there you go. But I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna relax for a couple minutes and then I'm going to do some work. Um, so I ended up actually eating 18 grams of those chips and I already decided later, I'm either gonna have a protein shake or protein smoothie because I'm really, not really behind on my protein. I've actually eaten probably more protein today than I have like in days past. I do need more protein, but for now, I am going to have an, an Alani New Energy drink. And this is 10 calories as well. This is the Watermelon Wave flavor. I'm going to drink this while I edit. We're gonna do a quick taste test. Ugh, I've never, I don't think I've ever had the Watermelon Wave before. Ooh. One thing I will say about Alani New, their flavors are very, they're very like strong. I'm gonna do some work and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Got a cookie? Mm. 
I sincerely apologize for this awkward angle. I can't find like the top part of my tripod. So we're just gonna have to be kind of intimate really quick. We are going to make one of Chris's favorite dinners right now. We're gonna make tuna patties. I'll show you guys how I make them. First, you need obviously tuna. I'm gonna do three cans of tuna and this is tuna just in water. Um, and then you need an egg. What's this? Also need some breadcrumbs. These are the Italian seasoned, whoa, these are Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay, sorry, it's gonna be an awkward angle for a second. I'm going to put all the tuna cans obviously in the bowl. And then I'm actually going to keep one of the tuna cans left out. So one can of tuna makes around three tuna patties. So I'm keeping the one can so that way I can like track it later. And then just crack our egg and mix it up. Then you're gonna take your breadcrumbs. You're gonna just sprinkle a little bit into the bowl just to get it all mixed together. So that way it has some flavor on the inside of the tuna patties. I also found this recipe on Pinterest, but I don't follow it correctly. I kind of modified it to my own. Um, and also for tracking wise, I'm kind of just gonna eyeball it because this is something that's difficult to get like the exact, especially when I'm making stuff for also for Grizzly and for Chris. Sometimes you just gotta do that. So now I'm gonna basically pre-make all of them and I also need a bowl. You're gonna get a bowl, you're gonna pour, you're gonna pour a bunch of breadcrumbs in the bowl cause you're gonna coat these with breadcrumbs. You're gonna take this, make like a, a decent sized patty. It's not quite palm sized, and then you're gonna cover it. I found it's a lot easier to like pre-make all of them and then cook them all at the same time. I used to like make them and throw them in the pan all together. But I found that if you pre-do it or do it beforehand and get them all ready, the cooking part goes a lot faster. So I'm gonna fry them in olive oil. I will track that as well. Um, and then I will show you the finished product and what I actually eat. Cause I think I'm also gonna cook some veggies, but I don't know what. This is kind of what it looks like. I also took pictures of it. So I'll put a picture up on the screen. So I have some cooked zucchini. You can have the tuna patties by themselves, but I decided to add a little ranch. I would love to say like, oh yeah, that's what I eat for the day. That's all. First of all, I still have, I, you can't see here. I'll screenshot this. Hold on. I still have 939 calories remaining. I've only had 1,399 calories today, um, which is not nearly enough. So after dinner, I'm gonna probably wait like an hour or something. I still think I want a protein shake because I still have 45 grams of protein that I need. I actually did very well on my fats today. I only need seven grams of fat left. A lot of that helped with the olive oil that I used in cooking this. And then for carbs, I still need 170. So I'm pretty behind. Most of my meals today have been fairly filling, yet pretty low calorie. So I definitely need to eat way more. That's kind of mind blowing to me. So I need to eat a lot more than I thought I needed to. It just shows how much snacks, like how much of my calories were going into like junk food and snacks. Cause over the last couple of days I've eaten fairly healthy and not snacked when I don't feel like I need to but I'm eating way under what I should be eating, which is so mind blowing. I'm gonna eat this and we'll see what next snack I have. I kind of have an idea and I'm really excited for it. For my last meal of the day, making some s'mores oatmeal. One full scoop of chocolate powder. A little bit more milk, and then mini marshmallows. Then you got some s'mores oatmeal. Wow. I'll put all my macros on the screen so you guys can see. Now I'm going to devour this. So now we're back, it's the next day. I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of all of my calories and my macros that I tracked. First, I would like to say that yesterday I did eat below maintenance calories. So to give you guys an idea, a maintenance calories for me is around 2,300. I did only eat 1,950. I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt because obviously like the tuna patties I ate yesterday or like 
maybe I didn't put enough sour cream because I didn't like actually track it or like the shortbread cookie, things like that. I could have eaten more, or I could have eaten less. I'm kind of taking it with a grain of salt. So I'll say I will probably ate around 2000 and that's kind of good, especially because I know that the day before I actually ate over maintenance calories. So it's kind of like that balance of things. I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm not eating under maintenance calories every day. It just happened to be yesterday that I did. With that being said, I ate 1,952 calories, or that's what I tracked. I will put like my goal of protein. So my goal for protein was 116. I got 108, which to be honest, I'm really proud of because I normally don't hit that. Normally protein is something that's really difficult for me to hit. Carbs, my goal was to eat 292 carbs and I only ate 193. So I feel like the next time I go at this, I'm gonna try to up my carb intake. And actually my fats, I actually ate over my fats. So my fats, my goal was 78 and I ate 86. So again, it's like a balance of things, but I just wanted to let you guys know that today I feel really good about yesterday like my stomach feels good to be honest i hope that this br video brings you some sort of like inspiration um maybe just like to kickstart your fitness journey with me we can go on this journey together yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please 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 comment down below if you did i would love to make more of these videos because i thoroughly enjoyed making it yesterday i love you guys all so much subscribe to my channel like this video, comment, all the things, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye! It won't go